Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to do this vintage inspired milkmaid braids hairstyle. It's something that I've been wearing quite a lot for the past couple of weeks. Um, it's just a really nice elegant way of keeping your hair off the back of your neck, on top of your head and it looks really really pretty but it's actually really easy. It's probably from start to finish about five, five minutes so anyone can do it. Yay! If you want to see it, then you need to stay tuned. Okay, so you can see that I've already parted my hair. It's because I am so rubbish at parting my hair. Uh, it takes me forever, so I did that bit off camera. And we all know how to part hair, right? So I've just done it smack bang down the middle. You can also see the length of my hair. So my hair is like a... Um, it's being worked into a horseshoe cut, it's not quite a horseshoe at the moment, but any style of hair, as long as you don't have really short layers cut into it, should work. I probably wouldn't recommend doing it if your hair is shorter than mine, just because you're not going to get the wrap around. But longer hair can definitely, definitely work. I'm going to talk about how that can be done later on in the tutorial when I'm actually at that stage. So the first step is to just brush through your hair, make sure you've got no knots so the braids are nice and smooth. My hair is freshly washed which isn't ideal but it has got some product in it so it's not as slippery. So I'm just working it up onto the top of my head. You want them quite far forward ignore this little bit that's my the remnants of an undershave and you also want them quite smooth and sleek right so once you've got it there you're gonna look like that for a little bit and then you just want to do a simple three-way braid just like how you would if you were normally braiding your hair. So I do fasten mine at the ends. I just use the little mini elastics, little uh, invisible ones. I hate doing this, it's the only way I can do it. You don't have to fasten them. Um, if your hair is coarser than mine, I would say don't bother. But I just like it so it keeps the neatness of the braid throughout the look. So that's one side done. So it just looks like that. And repeat on the other side. Okay, so now you look like this, you kind of look like Ms. Cracker at that point in a RuPaul's Drag Race. And I should have mentioned before that I do quite a tight um, plait, quite a tight braid, just so um, it doesn't get loose throughout the wear of the look really. Um, at this point I will probably spray the plait, this is just a soup, this is just a natural hold hairspray, it's not going to cause too much problems but it does just smooth out the braids a little bit right and now the weaving it's not really weaving it's very easy <laughs> all you need for these are lots of bobby pins actually it's not that many um i probably use like six i don't really know but yeah just get them so they match your hair and you'll find that your plaits will probably fall in a certain way like mine, this one falls back, so I'm going to pin this one back. You can tuck these in at a later point. The point at the moment is just to get the shape. So I've just pinned the ends at the moment. But now I'm going to pin actually into the braid, just so it secures everything a bit further. Right, 
one there, one in there. That actually doesn't feel that bad, but I'm probably just gonna stick, oh, I need to get my little, my little bit off the back. So you can just flop up there, look. There he goes. And I might put another one in there, there we go. Okay, so that feels really secure. I'm gonna give it a final spray. Get down these flyaways. So you can still just see this band, but I'm not that bothered by that. If you're really bothered by it, stick a flower on it. Okay, so I was gonna talk about um, if you have longer hair, I would do it so you have this as your base and then continue to weave it once round, once round, once round, just so then you don't get a mass of, like you, it doesn't become too wide or it doesn't become slight, so you have more height on it. Um, that actually looks really super beautiful. Um, and then obviously you're going to have to use about 10 billion pins to keep that in, but it does look so beautiful on long hair. And that brings me to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I actually think I'm going to start doing more simple vintage hairstyles. So I'm going to go back and do a decent wet set, show you how I do my S wave, like completely, I'm not, I'm not going to focus on any other part of my hair, just show you how to do a decent S wave. Might do victory rolls as well, but just to go right back to basics with the vintage hairstyling. And um, yeah, I really am getting back into the swing of it. So. Hopefully you'll see more of those tutorials along the way. But of course, if you want to see them, then you're gonna to have to hit the subscribe button. I do upload, for now, videos every Tuesday and Friday. That might be going down to once a week again, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, you should stick around. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and comment down below, what did you think of this hairstyle? Would you do it? Was it easy enough? How do you feel about more styles like this? Okay, so I'm gonna stop rambling. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.